Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. This scene, this is the starting point of Max discovering that she has this weird power because basically this adrenaline rush and throwing, looking at Chloe getting shot, that's how she, she can trigger that for the first time and she don't know really why, but that's this, the, the seriousness of the situation. Then, then you'll go back go back in, in the art class. So we really tried on this scene to show the déjà vu feeling. So the editing and the shots was, were there to, 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 to give this weird feeling to the player that, okay, I'm living that again and again, looking at the different moments that the player saw the first time in this scene. So yeah, for the editing in this uh, sequence, we wanted to keep the same elements, uh, but not necessarily the same shots. You can see that uh, first three shots are the same, I think, and the, after we begin to change a little the point of view. So you understand that there are the same uh, events going on, but just seeing from a different point of view. And I think, to be perfectly honest, we, we don't have a good um, explanation for why she's going back <laughs> to the art class, because we needed it I've for... I've got one, but I will never tell you. I don't think it's a mistake, yeah. because we also need it to explain to the player that the player can learn how things are, wor are working, mm. and it's quite hard to do. So we, we took this freedom to have Max go back to the art class, which even if it's a bit contradictory with how our power works after that. We are using this to explore more of Max's personality, of the characters, and um, because that's the way we created the, we created the character. Max, as we, 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 we've seen that with our, what she's thinking, she has a lot of insecurity, she has issues to go forward in, in, in her life, to, to take decisions, and now she has, she has this ability to not going forward, but going even backward. So it's an interesting storytelling device to, to question uh, with our character and with the player, of course, to question uh, choice and consequences, to question fate, to question really interesting issues. I think Max would never have changed uh, as much as here in our story without uh, this power and without this sci-fi element. So it puts the, the player in a very interesting position because she will ask himself the why he's doing some interaction, he can undo the interaction and try something else. But also Max, by doing this, will ask herself, uh, am I doing the right uh, decision? Am I, is it the, the, the good choice or not? So we deconstruct the mechanism of uh, adventure, classic adventure game just by adding this power on the fact that yeah. you can undo things and try another thing. Of course, in most games, you and that's, uh, you can do it with, you know, quick save, quick load. And, but it's, yeah, like you said, it's only the player who do that. And, and that's one of the main themes of the game, that if, if I had the power to rewind and to change things, should I do it? Because sometimes it can be really seen as, as, as lying. As if I say a lot of things that you don't like, and if I go back in time and don't say them to try to, so you're not, not angry at me, it's, it's a bit tricking. So we are really asking those questions. And in the beginning of the game, we are letting the player and Max do it a lot. She's getting to, to make a lot of friends with this rewind. But later in the game, and especially in episode five, we are really questioning this to see maybe maybe it wasn't the right thing. Maybe what you did to try to lie to people with your power, was it really good? And that's something that can be interesting for the story, but also to ask the player at, at, at a moment. I think this is a, what we wanted to do also with yeah, this game, so to show yeah. that it's difficult to make the choice, that's and it's even have. more difficult to live with it, but you have to learn and to, to do that. Have to. And even if you could hesitate a lot, there is no perfect way to do things. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? So, and so that basically that the first time you will, the player will actively rewind. So, so we have to, we have Max thinking that, okay, I just got, got back in time. I mean, this, uh, the art class. Uh, and so that's why, that's why we made her break her camera because we needed to have an element that the player will, will see that we will rewind. So we, we can really explain how do you rewind. So Max broke her camera and then she's thinking, Okay, if I get if I got back in time, maybe I can try to do it again and 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 revert that. So that's the first real rewind the player is actively doing. We, it's okay. We we don't really want the, the players to use the rewind all the time. But since um, it's important in the beginning of the game to really show to the to really show the player the tools he, he have, 
and it was important for us to have this in this scene to have a, mm-hmm. use, a lot of use of the rewind so we can really okay I know how it is now and now I decide if I use it or not I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom please please I can't tell anybody they'll think I'm crazy since we are really playing the game with the point of view of Max for her, not everything is clear, so it shouldn't be clear for the player. So, but there is a lot of hints that should really guide the players to understand what's happening. We have a lot of uh, um, symbolism with and tot- totem spirit animals. We have the doe, and you can clearly see in episode four that the doe is is linked to to Rachel, and it's basically some somehow a presence of Rachel that's guiding 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 Max at, at moments. I'm not sure that a lot of players notice that, but in episode two actually when you see the, the doe in, in the junkyard, it's precisely where yep. the is the where Rachel is buried. There is this mystic feeling around the town and since we didn't want to to clearly explain everything, it it's it's part of what makes Arcadia Bay a bit a bit different and a bit special. <laughs>